Hey guys, what's up? It's Kay Jones here, and I'm going to be showing y'all basically how to get to the death altar if you've messed up the puzzle that's in Morning's End Part 2. Uh, I did this on my Iron Man, which really sucks, because on an Iron Man, you can't just have a death talisman unless you have 90, uh, 91 or 92 Slayer from Dark Beast. So it's kind of a pain because you have to bring items all the time to this dwarf for Morning's End Part 2, and sometimes we forget to reset the beam or whatever messes up in the quest. I don't really remember. I did it two years, two years ago. Sorry, I had to put my bird over there. So, you're going to want to teleport to Laeta. Uh, you have to have completed Morning's Inn Part 1 to have the Laeta teleport. So, go ahead and click it. So, once you're here, uh, you want to go ahead and follow just my character. I'm going to have the floating map up for y'all so you can kind of see where I'm going well let me see here I'm actually going to move my um, face so now y'all can see where I'm going on the mini map and on the screen so we're going to go through these trees sorry my bird's playing around with the mic she gets into everything. You're going to pass these wolves and go over this step over wire trap. These woods can get kind of confusing, so just keep up. So you're going to go over that trap wire, then you're going to go across this dense forest. And so basically you'll be continuing west through this forest, and then you're going to go north to the jump leaves. I don't know how I rem remembered this. I've just done this path so many times gonna go up north and then start going east and I highly recommend that you make sure you have what you need for the quest in your inventory so go ahead and continue running east and there's gonna be another dense forest but you're not gonna go through it you're gonna enter the cave so we're gonna go ahead and enter this cave going to continue and go down the well you're gonna go down the well through these doors uh, don't fret if you fall because falling is actually a good thing because it will take you where you need to go what is wrong oh I thought it wasn't loading okay so if you fall it's no big deal I have a pretty high agility so I don't think I will fall so just follow my character if you fall don't worry oh my god my bird is there we go just follow my character most, I would expect most people to fall. You're going to fall straight down, and basically you're going to run to the dwarf camp. Don't freak out. I'll show you all where that is. Just follow my character. We're almost there, guys. I couldn't remember the exact path, but I knew it was over here. <sighs> if you fall, like I said, it's quicker and you'll be in the dwarf camp. It's literally just south, I believe, when you fall. But we're going to run there anyway. And this is why staminas or super energies are good. I'm going to go ahead and drink one. And just keep running south whenever you're past that platform. Okay, and there should be some kind of door that you can go down over here. See, this is Descend Cave. This is to the very south of the room. You're going to descend the cave. And when you descend the cave, there's going to be this dwarf camp to your southwest. So we're going to go over there. If you fall, you're going to fall basically anywhere around this massive place to fall. Basically, all you need to do is run south. This is kind of a neat part of RuneScape because it's kind of hidden. It's a great place to play hide and seek with your friends, see if they'll find you. Um, and here's the dwarf camp that I, I mentioned. You're going to descend into this cave right here. And here you go, guys. It's going to be the death altar. Uh, so you can't enter the abyss until you've completed the quest. And I think that's what makes people stuck is because they forget to reset the light beam and whatnot. And then they need to get back to the death altar to give items to Thorgel. This is really common, not just with mains, but especially Iron Man. 
I hope this guide helped y'all, and it's kind of a neat place in RuneScape. Um, so when you can't enter through the abyss, go through the back door. Thanks for watching, guys.